Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. There's a new mod in Creation Kit and it is the Doomslayer spacesuit. I think it was released just recently by the author Captain SSA and I thought it was worth checking out and it was. <laughs> I think this is a pretty cool spacesuit. The same author also has a mod for the Doom shotgun. It is based on the Coachman rifle. Not my favorite gun in the game, but now with this new look, it definitely makes it much more interesting. So I downloaded them and I played around with them and I just want to show you guys what it looks like, how to get it. I just want to give you guys a quick overview in case you're interested, you want to get it for yourself. They are available in both PC and Xbox in the creation kit and they are both free. So big shout out to the author for making this possible and not charging a single dime. So let's get into it. After you install the mods, you will find them in the basement of the lodge. There's going to be two additional chests. So you just grab them from there. The author does have a warning stating that you should use a save file that is outside of the lodge. I didn't have that issue, but in case your last save was in the lodge, make sure to go in, get out of the lodge, save the game somewhere else, install the mod, and then travel to the lodge. It comes with 10 armor sets with different legendary roles for you to pick but the skin will be just a default skin across all of them so just be aware that if you want to change the skin you have to go to the space suit workbench and then change the skin so you have a couple of them there's the default skin which is the dark green then you also have white black you have yellow blue and red I gotta tell you the spacesuit looks actually very detailed much more detailed than other spacesuits I've seen and for the helmet, you have two variants. There's the standard color and then a transparent version of that color. And if it doesn't work for you the first time, like you cannot see your character's face through the windscreen, just exit the game, load back in, and that fixes the issue. At least for me, that was it. That solved the problem. And the flashlight is at the top of the helmet. Great attention to detail right there. It looks really nice. And same goes for the shotgun. So if you like Doom and you like Starfield and you like them together, well, this is the mod for you. I also have some footage with the skin in action. It was pretty interesting to play with the Doom Slayer on third person view. Not my favorite. I think I still prefer first person view. I think just Starfield in general, third person view, it doesn't feel as nice or as snappy as other third person games. Not a, not a complaint with the mod, but rather Starfield. However, nevertheless, it was an interesting experience. First person with that shotgun, it definitely looks really good. Love it. I hope this mod doesn't get taken down for copyright, like the Batman mod. Thank you, Warner Brothers, for that. Definitely, I think this is a mod worth checking out. And interesting enough, Doom Slayer somehow doesn't feel out of place in this game. Some other skins, you put them on and the character looks like mm, it doesn't fit in this world. But Doom Slayer somehow it does. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just Doom Slayer is good no matter where you put it. I don't know. But anyway. So there it is, you know, just wanted to give you guys a quick video, a quick update about these two mods that you have available in the creation kit. Please like and subscribe, support my channel. Other than that, enjoy the game, have fun, and I'll see you all in the next video.